The Australian Maritime Safety Authority and oceanographers are collaborating to record the slicks of coral larvae as they ride the East Australian Current, or as the turtle from Finding Nemo would say, the EAC dude. EAC. Yeah. So. Each square meter of this slick contains several million coral larvae, so they kind of want to know what happens to it. So self-locating data marker buoys uh, were released near the slick so that it can be tracked. Uh, this tech is normally used to calculate surface drift uh, during search and rescue operations. So yeah, this could be a first for tracking coral larvae. Uh, if it is, then let us know in the comments. If not, also let us know in the comments. Yeah. Um, so the real-time data from these trackers revealed that this slick moved 32 miles in just five days. That's pretty good. Uh, while observations from the surface and the air showed that small slicks could form and move quickly across the reef or dissipate uh, if the wind was strong enough to create white caps. So why are researchers studying this slick so much? Well, they see slicks as a potential asset to produce more heat-tolerant corals to restore reef damage by climate change, according to Ames marine biologist Dr. Andrew Hayward, who's monitored these slicks from the surface. So like we keep on saying, this really is the year of coral starting to come back in 2019. Uh, now it seems that Mother Nature is trying to sort out coral uh, at the Great Barrier Reef as well, which is just fantastic. Uh, of course, this slick happens every single year, but with coral dying in areas, it's great to see these slicks and hopefully they can evolve with climate change to make coral coral better. Like with any coral, this will take hundreds of years though to actually come into effect. Uh, we will all be long gone before this got really dark. Uh, we'll all be long gone before reefs thrive to what they once were, but at least coral is fighting back and we're starting to see the results. So what do you think about the tracking of coral slicks? Uh, should they do this more often to see where coral slick ends up and how it gets there? Uh, should we recreate larval, uh, larvae slicks where coral is dying to help encourage natural growth? Uh, I don't know what, scoop it up out of the water and just put it where you want it. Buckets. Bucket and spades. Uh, let's have a chat about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.